super special shout out to all my awesome YouTube members and patrons, Riptide, Anik D, Matthew Hall, Charlene Kelly, Yishiga Bay, Madlo, Lucky Charms, and Sam Adina for their amazing support. Hey guys, and welcome back to 70 Today Apocalypse Now mod. So, I have been a little busy, as you guys can see it is day 32, uh, morning of, and yeah, I'm making a ton of gas to here. Um, I also, I actually want to see if we can't make more of these. Because these ones, these little reminders actually give you so much resources. Let's see, how much does it cost to make? Uh, but yeah, they give you so many res- Oh, it's only lootable, damn. Someone said something about they have like 12 miners. I wonder how they got that many, if you can only loot it. But yeah, that would be awesome if you actually get some more of here, because damn, these things give nice resources. Also, um, I am busy making some steel and stuff of here. Made some forged iron first, so if we want to make some more uh, chem station stuff, we can. And then also, I went and I made myself two stacks of armor piercing rounds. So we're going to use up these, uh, these normal ones first, and then we use the armor piercing ones. And yeah, hopefully they do way, way more damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, let's go for eight that we're going to lock for now. No, nine. We can go nine, and then we can keep these in the car spot. We can put the drinks and stuff away for now. I was actually busy drinking this stuff while I was mining, so we can just make sure we don't run out of stamina and stuff. Okay, um, yeah. Power Repaired up. most of my All stuff of here. Well, guys, I have set my sound a little bit louder as well because a few of you have been complaining that's still a little bit low. Um, I just hope because I just went and I set the game sound from 40 to 50, and then my audio I increased by like 20% so of my mic. So I'm gonna have to see if it's too little, too much. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do play around with that and see how that goes. But here we have some cement. Okay, but yeah, I'm just gonna quickly go. I've already repaired all the concrete over there. We just need to make it steel now and then replace the blocks over there and make that steel as well. If we can get that done by day 35, we should be good to go. Um, yeah, let me just quickly put a few... Uh, I think I already filled up the car. So we can put the gas away for now. And then we can put this away. We're going to take a stack of this just in case I miss something that needs repairs and then we can go. I need to be careful of this weather because sometimes the really dangerous stuff lurks in the shadows. If I can do this... Do this. Okay, this one's supposed to go there. Let's put the water over here, just in case I need to use it. I also want to go a little bit more into this perk, or in the turret perk. So I want to make sure my turrets are firing, like, a lot. Okay, and then... I should probably upgrade these first, since they're the ones that take most of the brunt of the damage. Yeah, I actually, I missed... Here and there, I missed every now and then. I want to see what happens if I up, uh, click on upgrade again on this, but I'm afraid of wasting resources right now. Okay, that's... Um, I think that's high-quality metal or something. If I click like this, it shows that I need something. I think that's high-quality. Let me just check. High-quality... Yeah, high-quality metal. So basically, it's like a ton of iron and clay. It's better than steel. Uh, yeah, it's definitely better to go for the Advanced Forge. We just don't... I don't think we have the Advanced Forge yet, but that's something we have to go for next. And then I want to make sure this door is still as well, so we're going to have to... Oh, I don't have the Forge with me. We're going to have to repair this. We also need a steel door on us to be able to fill that up. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to replace these with this. Copy shape. We don't need two doors over here. I, I wanted to do another entrance on this side. But I think the one is fine over here, and then we're going to put some or oh, some uh, blade traps on this side. What I also want to do is this. I'm going to go for... Centered. Yeah, like so. I want to put them, like, on the edge over there, not centered. But I'm afraid that when the zombies run over here, they're going to hit them more. Basically, what I want to do with this is I want to make sure that when the zombies vomit, they can't easily hit my... Blade traps that are going to be here. But I need to think now, if the zombies fall, I want them to be able to fall over here. What I could do is copy rotation. Uh, let's just pick you up quickly. Please don't leave me in here too long. We can do this so the zombies can still turn uh, properly. I'm going to need way more uh, concrete blocks as well because all of this needs to be filled in. I really took out all the dirt and everything. So now it's just we need to uh, make steel and all the rest. So I'm going to go over here for plate, not plates, um, wedges. We need wedges right now. Um, it's not this one. It's not this one, I think. This one's too thin. Although it's a half block. Oh, now the problem's going to be it's offset. It's in the middle. I wonder if there is a shape like that. Slope middle. No, that's a slope middle. Um, I just had the other shape as well. <laughs> there are so many shapes over here. 
So it's going to be a wedge, but it's not going to be the tip. It's going to be a normal wedge, but it has to be the middle wedge. So if I go middle, huh? It just says middle slope, but it doesn't really say anything else. So I might just have to go and put normal blocks in like this. See, the problem is I want zombies to be able to fall down over here as well. Um, but if they don't fall down, they don't fall down. I want to make sure they have enough room to turn. And then they go over here. If I had one on the edge, so if I had the normal half block. Um, half block. Not the centered one, this one. If I had this one and I had it arranged like this. Then I'm just afraid the zombies are going to run into it and they're going to start breaking it. But if it's hanging in the middle of the block, that shouldn't be an issue. I also want to see if we go on the inside now, what that's going to look like. I should probably also make myself a proper entrance over here as well, so I can get in and out as I please. So if we open this door now... Okay, cool. As long as I make this steel, we should still be able to throw a ton of stuff out there and not have to worry too much about the zombies. I'm going to have to make sure that everything is completely steel over here. Uh, especially because all the zombies love vomiting at me while I'm standing over here. And then the rest of the walkway also needs to be steel, so I'm hoping we have enough steel left for all of this. Um, I am busy making more steel and more concrete and stuff, but the more we get done right now, the better. Okay, so at least these are done, that's great. And then this. As long as the walkway is done, we don't have to worry too much. Obviously, the explosions and stuff from the demolishers are a problem. Ooh, I need to go behind that block as well. I'm going to have to remove that one to make the one behind that uh, frame steel as well. If I don't do that, um, it's going to be a concrete block carrying too much steel. And then we'll steal left. So what I'm going to do quickly, I have to do this so I remember exactly where it goes. And then I'm going to quickly have to go get more steel over there. So basically all we need right now is 10, 20, 30 steel. And I think let me just quickly break this out. And then I'll catch you guys back as soon as I have the steel in hand. Okay, so I'm going to have to get myself some more cement while we go through places. And also, we only have like three springs left after I make the door over here. So we're definitely going to have to see if we can't arrange more stuff, gather more resources. We have a ton of stone, and I am busy making some more cement over here. But it's just not fast enough. We need a uh, advanced bellow. Bellow, advanced bellows. Yeah, we don't have it unlocked yet, unfortunately. We do. I should actually see how many of these research notes we have, so I can't perhaps go for more schematics. We should be able to unlock quite a few of these things if I really tried. Okay, anyways, uh, there's some cement over there, some cement over there. Did I have any other resources except sand cooking over here? I put 2,000 sand in each, so when we have enough cement, we can just make concrete as we please. Um, okay, this is almost done as well. I need two minutes left on that one. I am actually busy making concrete and stuff over here as well. Electrical parts and concrete, there you go. Grab this. I'm going to leave the mechanical parts and all that stuff in here for now. And then, yeah, we have this over here. We had a little bit of iron left, so I decided, let's just go for this on the via. And the repair kits we might actually need. Look at this. Uh, we are going to have to actually repair a few things soon. Okay, something vomited or did a little bit of damage over here for some reason. I wonder if it was like a cop vomit or an explosion or something that went off. I should probably also cut down all the trees in the vicinity so that wandering hordes and stuff can't sneak up on me. I have to make all of this steel before the next horde, but I don't know if we're going to have enough blocks and stuff. Uh, especially the floor over here. Uh, the steel we might actually have after a while. Let me just do this. See, that block over there was not steel, so that would have been a normal concrete block holding all that steel. So that would have been a really, really bad thing in this case. Okay, all of these are done. I'm going to actually go and do this. We have the vault hatch, and then we can actually use this little bit more steel over there. We have 11 left. So what I want to do... Oh, we also have an electric fence post, but we'll fix that later. Just do this. So I just need to go put all of this stuff away and then we can keep on going. But I need to figure out over here what I'm going to do. And I'm also going to have to make sure it's too high. Okay, that one's almost broken. This one's almost broken. They were actually very close to completely breaking because even these over here, if you go and look at them, are really, really low. You need like mechanical parts and electrical parts with forged iron to repair these. So I'm going to have to... Oh, just electrical parts. But I'm going to have to figure out how to block off the explosion. See, these stairs are too close. But unfortunately now, that's too late to actually worry about that. Um, what I think we can actually do, I'll really place the bottom of here. I want to make sure underneath the stairs, like one block underneath the stairs is the least concrete. That's why I have this concrete over here, not dirt. We don't want the dirt being destroyed from explosions. Um, like sometimes explosion damage can go into the corners. 
And if that ends up destroying the dirt, uh, it makes a hole and zombies can get in there. Whether they glitch through, ragdoll through, whatever. And they end up doing so much damage on the inside or underneath the stairs that, yeah, it's bad. I'm trying to be so careful. Sometimes you don't even hear the zombies approach until it's too late. So I'm just going to do this. We'll do that so I remember where it is. And then this is where the stairs are going to start. This is where the stairs are going to start, which means now I just have to fill in everything and go one up every time. Did I just see a zombie? Yep. I saw a zombie pass. Okay, do that one. Do this one. There's bound to be behemoths and stuff as well, so I need to be careful. At least this gun is silenced. Oh crap, zombies from behind. Yeah, that was clever. I have to admit, that was pretty clever. I'm so glad I do actually have the shotgun, because now all I have to do is shoot in a straight line. And it does damage to all the zombies. Crap, 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 crap. Okay, are there any... Did you miss anything over here? No. Oh, but there's a cop over there coming closer. I love these turrets, and they're not even using the armor piercing rounds yet. If I use the AP ammo, we're definitely going to be able to do some more damage. Crap, crap. Ooh, red bag. Nice. Didn't realize. When I saw something in the corner of my eye move, I was like, oh, that's a zombie. I need armor piercing rounds or slugs or whatever for this gun as well. This is just a little bit too weak in my opinion. I mean, it definitely helps in a crowd when you're using a shotgun like this because it shoots through all the zombies. It does like a crap ton of uh, damage, spray damage. But, um, yeah, you wouldn't be able to actually take care of the zombies with your gun. I'm assuming you'll have to rely more on like automatic weapons and stuff because this is just too weak. Okay, so let's just wear this. Hopefully that cop doesn't see me. Seems like it's kind of lost at the moment. Yep. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh. Also, guys, as you can see, I made myself... Oh, no, my dog's doing crazy. I made myself a level 41 steel pick over here, and I'm just hoping that it actually lasts, and it's actually a good um, thing. Okay, just had to quiet my dog quickly, but damn, she was making noise just now. It's only the female dog that barks like that. The male dog can't be bothered, but the female one... Ooh. She's loud. Let's make sure he doesn't vomit easily. Especially knowing since he can actually uh, do way more damage than a normal cop when he's red like that in Inferno Cop. I don't want to take any chances. Basically, I want to get this all concrete as well, and then this whole floor needs to be steel. For now, as long as I can make that steel, put like a cage or something around it, we should be good to go for the next Horde Night. But guys, while I was busy, I just saw something pass by over there. I was like, no, 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 that, that has to be a Wandering Horde. So I'm so glad I actually went to check this now. Can I finish this? Can I finish this? Nice! Now I just have to finish the floor and then we are done with the horde base. I'm actually still curious to see if this is going to work properly or not. I also have to make myself a way in. And I also want to put some blade traps over here. So as soon as the zombies pass by and they stand over here, they get sliced and diced. These lines are hanging... Uh, for those of you new to the game, if you see a wire hanging like this, then one of the sides is broken. In this case, both sides are broken, but yeah. Okay, so this is already filled up. Um, do we have some cash? 5,000. See, that's the only reason I need to do quests and stuff right now. Coin. Is we can get loot from killing zombies. Oh, also, for those of you wondering what I did during the off uh, time, I actually went mining over here. Come on, come on, come on. I want, I want to make sure we don't break anything. I went mining a little bit further over here. As you guys can see, I made a massive, massive hole. We got like 20 to 40k uh, iron down here. And I don't even have... My minus 69 skill all the way up, I think. Uh, like mother load, all that stuff. I think I have to still work a little bit on it. And as soon as it's nice and high, we won't have too many problems. Okay, explosives. I still need a way to funnel these towards zombies. So I can just throw them down like a chute or something, and it kills the zombies from behind. Ooh. I can make some ammo of my own. That's going to be awesome. Um, How much cash do I have left? 400. First aid kits, 126. Uh, let's see food and drinks. I don't know if I have any proper foods and stuff, but I mean, it can't hurt just to every now and then buy something proper. Okay, now we just have to go and put all of this stuff away and we'll actually do a little bit more building and upgrading and stuff later. But now we just have to make sure that we can actually go do some quests, earn some coin and buy more stuff. And it's a shame these haven't reset it. I want to grab the stuff before we leave. I'm going to need for this. See, you need a ton of tokens over here, and we just need to put a wrench in over here as well. 
But you need a ton of tokens, and unfortunately at the moment we don't have that amount of tokens. But everything else, it seems... Ooh, vehicles. Nice. If I can unlock a few things over here, we'll be able to make a better vehicle. For those who don't know, at the moment... Ooh. At the moment, we do have this vehicle outside, but damn, its handling is bad. Part of mining, we can make this stuff as well. Awesome. I want to make sure that my mining is all the way full, because I want to make sure that when we mine, we get bonuses and break blocks faster and stuff like that. The fact that you can make these are awesome. That's awesome. Advanced bellows, we need this one, but we need 750 dukes. So one or two quests, and we have so many notes, we can actually make a few of these things. Advanced rad remover, I don't know exactly what... But we need radiated material, and we don't have that yet. But other than that, guys, we are doing really well, I feel. Contact grenades, I want to make these, so I definitely know what I want to do. I want to be able to go and buy this stuff. So that is our goal for now. Do as many quests as possible, get as much coin as possible. Grab those and dump these. I also want to make sure that every now and then I clear out my weapons over here and just go sell them to the trader. Also, um, yeah, I made a level 51. It's actually over here under the tools. Um, did I make level 51? Did I already sell it? Did I put it with the yeah, I think I put it over here. Oh yeah, we, want we can sell this stuff to the trader. I made this level 51, but it was weaker than level 41. <laughs> that was a waste of steel making this. This one's better. Okay, if I click on this one and we hover over this one... Block damage goes down. It better as a weapon, but other than that, this one's weak. So we can sell this one as well. And now we'll just put it under tools, or we can do this. Um, trader. Take the green one out. Repair this one and uh, put it in there, and then we can actually get more coin. Come on. I love how fast stuff actually goes and repairs. Look at that, it was almost instant. Okay, so now we just have to put this stuff away, and then we can quickly go make some cash. Uh, ammo parts, ammo stuff goes over there. Holding supplies go over here. I want to start using the armor piercing rounds as soon as possible. Okay, we're going to keep these blocks on us. Foods and farming and stuff go over here. Water's doing fine, food's doing fine, health is going up because of that just now. Okay, cool. So we can quickly go to the trader and see if we can't make some cash. Um, we need to make sure we eat the sugar butts of here. I'll just put them on the top. And the rest of the stuff we're actually going to go and just sell as is. Nice, so we are about to make a nice little killing at the trader. Is this zombie part of the Wandering Horde? Weak, no, I'm guessing he's not. This is a weak zombie, I'm guessing he's definitely not part. The Wandering Hordes have like ferals and stuff, so at this moment I don't think we're going to get anything weak like that. Ooh. I've got the best deals in Navas game. Okay, I should probably also go for the special they quest as well. It. Oh, do you have Grandpa's awesome sauce? If I could get some more cash, that would have been awesome. Oh, damn. That would be cool to be able to... Oh, yes, yeah, survivalist, we need this. Either the blue notes or this. I'm going to get this. And then... Ooh, I'm actually thinking of getting myself like a proper vehicle. Humvee chassis. 42,000, though. We don't have that much cash. Maybe next time. Happy travels, I just realized, if we sell all the stuff, we might be able to make those schematics now. Okay, so we do this, and we just go and sell every single thing... Um, I'm actually kind of curious to see how much cash we're going to get for all of this. Because I'm just selling everything. I even sold the lockpicks just now because we do have the crowbar. The crowbar is epic. It actually breaks stuff so fast. We already had a cigar. That's why I sold that cigar. Let's quickly click through this. I don't like skipping ahead and then saying, Oh, this is how much cash I got. I'm going to show you guys everything I sell. Oh, nice. Look at that. That cash actually just jumped up all of a sudden. Damn. I didn't even notice that it was already almost a second stack full. Damn. Okay, I had to have I had some stuff. It sells for 800. Some of these things I had to have sold for like almost 10k or something because damn, look at the amount of cash we have. I actually have some of the custom weapons still at the base because I want to go test them out. Like Cola's Bat and um, there's another kind of Sledgehammer, PK's weapon or something like that. I want to test all of these weapons out. Now, <laughs> what I should do is go to every bunker and buy all the explosives every single day. But I what I want to do is spend some cash here first. See, to make the schematic, I think it's going to be cheaper than to buy it. Ooh, shotgun auto turrets. 27,000. I'm going to splurge some cash right now. Especially since my other thing's still active. Dirt bike. I want to get this Humvee chassis so badly, but I don't know if it's going to be better or not. Let's, let's get it. I mean, we can always make the other part easier. Okay. 
then do that. Red bike handle was schematics. Come on. Okay, out of mining, we already have all that stuff we have. I want to quickly go through here before this sugar butt runs out. Coffee, thank you. Uh, ooh. That's a helicopter schematic. Nice. Or oh, a helicopter. Yeah, it is schematic, right? No, I thought it said it wrong. <laughs> okay, do we have any frag rockets over here? Nope, and that's all the stuff I sold, so there's no point in checking further. Chem station. I need to make sure we don't just we don't use all our cash because I do want to go make my own schematics as well. Advanced bellows, there you go. Gunpowder to make my own ammo. Uh scrap polymers we're gonna need. We need cash, scrap polymers, and research data. More concrete. More cement. See, I could easily go and get more cement and stuff on buildings, and we are gonna do that, but while I can buy them, I'm gonna buy them. I wanna still put down all of those um statues and stuff. But I wanna expand my base, make it like a really truly awesome base. Okay, so for now I think that's it. Uh I'm not gonna buy any uh, anything else over here. We have like 150 almost molotovs and stuff. So it's just gonna be overkill to buy that as well. Bench press. What is this? Just a block. That's so weird. Safe okay. Traveled. Just for the aesthetics, I think. Just to make it look nice. Okay, so we just got a crap ton of cash and we spent it in like a second. Um, Technically, what I should have bought is like auto turrets because I don't really use the 9mm ammo. Um, since I use a shotgun a lot, it's actually dumb of me to go and buy the shotgun turrets, but close range, they can really annihilate zombies. On the roof, when it comes to like vultures and stuff, I want them to one shot the vultures. So I'm going to make sure that this vultures, uh, the turrets don't see the vultures until it's like really time. And then it's just a one shot kill. But if we can make sure we do that on the roof, like make a little bit of a, I don't know, like a dome kind of thing where it expands to the left and right all around. Goes so up a bit and then the shotgun turrets point down at the vultures. So when the vultures go into that bowl or dome or whatever it's called, they get annihilated. Okay, so let's see, let's see. I need these. Duke's tokens, we need to scrap polymers. Please tell me I have enough. No, we don't have enough for more multiples. Uh, we can make scrap polymers if I'm not mistaken. Oh, oh, well, before I do anything, let me just read all of this. Okay, now that's an actual Humvee chassis. Can we actually make the Humvee? Um, Humvee. Yeah, okay, now I can just go and make the body. Oh, it's locked. If I can make the body, perhaps, we already have the chassis. We just have to get the recipe for the uh, body and then also make the body. And it's cheap enough to make. Nice. Then we can actually go and make it. We can make it topless or we can make like a roof. I think I'm going to take the roof one. It looks really nice. So it's a good thing that I already had the chassis because the chassis is super expensive. So 36k well spent, I feel. Okay, uh, MD. We have another chem station over here. Now this one has to go over here. And this one I just realized is a hunter cloth book. This is also a survivalist class book. I didn't even realize that that was a proper book that I just bought. So that one is for Hunter, for the year. Now it's finally going to become level 3. Now I'm actually really, really happy that I bought that one. Nice. Okay, so we're going to put this away. Uh, over there, and then building supplies with all the shotgun turrets and stuff. Miscellaneous. And then chem station, you go. You actually have to go upstairs. I only have like, I want to have the workbenches and like the um, auto miners down here and I want to have everything else upstairs. Anything that can produce heat, basically. We're going to have four forges. We're going to have the chem stations next to each other and then voila. Oh, I want to see how far that is actually. And then also, what can I make over here? I need to make the Humvee body schematic. Wait, can't you make it? Oh, you can only make the normal ones. Damn. Wait, uh, is there another way to actually get this? Uh, these ones? Because I really, really wanted it. Okay, so for now, we'll just go for this one then. Contact grenades. We're going to need that during Horde Nights. Uh, these grenades I don't really want because I want the ones that explode immediately. As soon as you throw something, it needs to explode. I could have sworn we just had the advanced... Oh, we bought an actual advanced better. Um, This one, wrench required. We should have a wrench, right? Don't we have, wait, 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 wait. Don't we have any wrenches? I know we have our actual wrench. No, we don't even have a wrench on us. We have an impact driver. Damn. I mean, I have this, but I don't think that's going to count. How much does it make to, or cross to make a wrench? 
The actual range, eh, not that much. It's, it's fast as well. Duct tape, forged iron. Uh, get some duct tape, some forged iron, and mechanical parts. Easy enough. These should also be done, so I can just really put it in. Oh, it's almost done. Uh, but I'm just going to put it in over here, then. I want a range, please. It's a level 51, though. It kind of feels like a waste actually putting this range over here now. Because, oh, putting it inside a machine. That one's almost done, then we can actually grab this. Nice. Okay, uh, let me just see. Where were we? We were busy making schematics, right? Oh, oh yeah, that's why we needed the wrench. So, uh, do I want that right now, then? As long as I can get it later, I think. So, we'll skip that one for now. Bond rad, there's no point in this one. Oh, and we can't make it anyways, because we need these. Sound like my dogs just fought, uh, fought each other, or bit each other, or something. I don't know. Sound okay, so um, yes, out of mining, out of mining. Now we can actually mine spots easier. Better up, no, better up, no. Lucky leader, we almost have all of No, we have all of them. Nice magnum enforcer, we don't use needle and thread, we don't really use night stalker, we don't use pistol, we don't use ranger, shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. Oh, we have all of it. Nice sniper, we have all of them. Spear hunter, we're not using the spear anymore, so that's not oh, that's pointless. Tech junkie. We have all of them. Nice. I didn't know we already know I knew this uh this many books. Damn, okay, so we knew all of those. I can actually read these out of them, right? Doo -doo -doo. Thank you. Okay, advanced antibiotics. I uh, should probably get these or advanced first aid kits. Um we also need these. But we are out of scrap polymers right now. So I wonder if I shouldn't wait for now. These are definitely, definitely, definitely going to come in handy, guys, because we need to actually find a wasteland. I don't even know if I'm going to actually find a wasteland during this playthrough. That's how scarce it seems to be. Okay. So, the Humvee body, we just needed the wrench for, right? No, 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 no. We can't get the... Damn. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't get the Humvee body over here. That is, that is really unfortunate to not be able to make that. The Humvee schematic. Yeah. Okay, so we need to find the Humvee body schematic, or we need to go into Grease Monkey a bit more. Grease Monkey, we do have two points. I'm going to go into this, though. Light Armor Specialist. Now that we have level 8, we can actually my, uh, make the fantastic armor. So I'm actually going to buy this then. Okay, so if you guys like this episode, please like, share with your friends. Comments, tips, feedback, anything at all, leave your comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more this content. See you guys next time for some more. Apocalypse now, fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click join or the Patreon link in the description down below.